بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرحلی صدری ویسلی امری وحل العقدتم باللسان یفق و قولی صدق اللہ العظیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ویل بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ آر یونیورس واس کریئٹڈ ہیو یو ایور ونڈر دیٹ ایوری تھنگ دیٹ یو سی ٹوڈے اراؤنڈ یو ہاؤ واس دیٹ کریئٹڈ ویل دیر آر لاٹ آف سائنٹیفک تھیوریز آن ہاؤ آر یونیورس واس کریئٹڈ بٹ دا موسٹ بلیو تھیوری is a theory known as the Big Bang Theory. What happened in the Big Bang Theory was that before the universe was created, there was a point in space and that point was known as the singularity. This singularity was a tiny particle only a few millimeters wide and it was infinitely hot and infinitely dense. Its energy was equal to that of a supermassive black hole. Now what happened was that around 13.7 billion years ago this particle violently exploded and what happened after the explosion was that space, time and the four fundamental forces of the nature were created. However, the four fundamental forces of our universe, uh, gravity, electroweak, super nuclear and weak nuclear, all of these were combined to make a single force known as the super force. The first era was called the radiation era and the second era was called the matter era. The radiation era was named due to the predominance of radiation in that time. The radiation era is divided into even smaller periods called epochs. The first epoch was the Planck epoch which happened immediately after the Big Bang. No particle was formed during the Planck epoch. After the Planck epoch came the Grand Unified epoch. In the Grand Unified epoch, what happened was that the super force that we just discussed a few minutes before the super force that was formed after the big bang it had four structures inside it gravity strong nuclear weak nuclear and electromagnetism now what happened was that one of these forces the weakest one gravity split off from the super force which caused it to be named the grand unified force so this was called the grand unified theory however it only ended when one of uh, the other forces called strong nuclear also split off after the grand unified epoch came another epoch called the inflationary epoch in which the universe was growing so rapidly that it grew from is being smaller than an atom to the size of a grapefruit now the universe at this time was hot and it was churned by quarks quarks such as anti quark normal quarks and electrons the next epoch was the electroweak epoch in the electroweak epoch what happened was that uh, the remaining forces of the super force the electromagnetism and the weak nuclear combined to make the force electroweak this period only ended when both forces split off from each other causing the four fundamental forces of this universe to appear after this came the new epoch called the quark epoch in the quark epoch what happened was that quarks started to form however they could not be combined to make subatomic atoms because the universe was still too hot for them to form then came the hadron epoch what happened in the hadron epoch was that uh, the universe has cooled down enough for quarks to finally form together to form the subatomic atoms protons nucle- neutrons and electrons after that came two new epochs called the lepton epoch and the nuclear epoch what happened in the lepton and nuclear epochs was that in both of these epochs the universe was so cooled down now that the subatomic atoms uh, form together they uh, join together to form normal atoms and the first ever gas the first ever element of this universe helium was finally created alongside with hydrogen 10 billion years ago a new era started called the matter era the matter era was divided into three epochs the atomic epoch the galactic epoch and the stellar epoch what happened in the atomic ha- epoch was that hydrogen and helium 
condensed with each other to form clouds of gas and dust which we call today nebulas. In the galactic era, uh, what happened was that black holes, supermassive black holes started to form in the center of these nebulas and their gravity created an accretion disk which allowed the nebula to turn into a, a galaxy. And then finally, the latest epoch called the stellar epoch. What happened in the stellar epoch was that these galaxies had a lot of hydrogen and helium inside them. And these hydrogen and helium further condensed with each other to create a phenomenon known as nuclear synthesis. In which what happened was that the first ever stars were formed. These stars had a very short and intense lifespan and they finally exploded in supernovas, violent supernovas supernovas that uh, traveled for millions of light years and these supernovas created even more elements such as hydrogen, helium, carbon, oxygen and nitrogen for other stars and planets to form and from hydrogen and helium every single other element of this universe was formed and just like that every planet, star, moon, life, everything was created and just like that our universe was finally created and shaped thanks to the Big Bang. Now I hope you have enjoyed this video very much and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck!